Guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to cover the most exciting topic in circuit protection, earth leakage. No, hold your applause, guys. Now, honestly, earth leakage is a really important topic. It might not be the most exciting topic in the world, but it's one of the reasons why the landscape of circuit protection, in domestic homes especially, has changed over the past four or five years. Now, this is off the back of a video that we did recently on RCD selection. If any of you guys haven't watched it yet, don't panic. Uh, you won't need to watch both to understand this video, and I will put the link for the video in the show notes below. But basically, we had a lot of questions off the back of the last video as well as to why DC is so much more present on AC circuits now and why it's saturating old AC RCD devices, etc., etc. Again, go crack on with that video and have a look. A lot of everything we have now had to adjust to in the circuit protection world, and you guys now as installers, is down to earth leakage. Now, you get earth leakage on every type of circuit, okay, every single type of circuit, and it's more prominent than it has ever been, and there's multiple reasons for that. So before we get into it, let's talk about what is earth leakage. So earth leakage, very simply, is when you have current flow that's going from point A to point B that leaks from its designated path, for the want of a better term, to earth. Okay, happens for a multitude of reasons. Most commonly, it would have been damage on the circuit, damage to the conductor, um, or some kind of circuitry fault. Okay. Secondly, you would then have like a, um, for the want of a better term, you have long runs of cable. Okay, uh, and during long runs of cable, depending on the current flow, etc., it can basically edge its way through the installation and have some small earth leak from there. Okay, you also can get earth leakage as well from a fault on an appliance, et cetera, et cetera. But they're generally the most uh, commonly understood and adopted principles for earth leakage. But there is also another one. And that one is why earth leakage is on the rise and why it's had such an impact on our RCD selection since. So why is it on the rise? Very simply put, your appliances in your home now are designed differently to what they've ever been designed. The UK home now and globally is more sophisticated than it's ever been. You still watch a telly, but that telly is nowhere near the same. You still wash your clothes in a washing machine, but that washing machine is not even the same. Even your fridge freezer, which still probably looks the same, operates completely differently. That's the same with electric ovens, boilers, and everything else in between. And what is very different about them? Well, appliances have had to come on, well, they've come under a lot of scrutiny, but they've had to change drastically on how they operate in the matter of energy consumption. Okay, so appliances now have to use, by law, through EPC ratings, etc., a lot less energy than they've ever used in the past. So if you look at your old massive televisions, for example, like some of us are old enough to remember, I was great. I had a little VHS cassette bit in mine. For those kids who don't know what VHSs are, we'll just leave that there. <laughs> but they use an awful lot more energy than, for example, your new QLED LED television does now. But how is that working? Okay, well, these new appliances have very sophisticated electronics within them. And because of that, they intentionally leak current to earth. Yeah, you heard me right. They intentionally leak current to earth. So your television, your, even your LED lighting, uh, your PlayStation, your Xbox, if you're that way inclined, your PC, your laptop especially, phone chargers, and all of your white goods. So your fridge freezers, washing machines, dishwashers, you get the gist. They all intentionally leak current to earth. Now, a lot of those that I just mentioned, and you already know, use DC current, not AC. Hence why when they're leaking that current to earth, you are getting DC leakage on those circuits. That's why it was saturating those AC devices. So we have had this problem for quite some time, but it doesn't look like it was ever picked up. And again, I'm just going to drop it in there until we launched our Say No to AC campaign and other people took credit for it. But all jokes aside, that's why it's been gradually becoming more and more of an issue from a blinding perspective. However, the evidence has been there for a while. So where are you in a risk point of earth leakage? Well, earth leakage shouldn't ever exceed 30% of the capacity of that protection device. And in this case, the protection device against earth leakage is not an MCB. That protects you against short circuit. Earth leakage is an RCD. Again, for those of you who are a little bit unclear on how the differences are and what they are, just watch that previous video. But an RCD will have a milliamp rating. Traditionally, on domestic circuits, they are 30 milliamp. Whether you have a RCCB double pole RCD type, like this one, 
or an RCBO, for example, 32 amp, uh, 30 milliamp version like this one. Now, you will recognize them both. Now, they both have a milliamp rating. Now, that is his protection against earth leakage, essentially, okay? Once that device exceeds 30%, which is not allowed to by the regs anyway, you have an issue of nuisance tripping, okay? So, at that point, you're going to continually have issues every time an appliance is switched on or appliance is added to the circuit or anything else like that, that's going to take it over that, that earth leakage structure and that RCD is going to trip. So the client, the homeowner, whatever, is going to get pretty frustrated very, very quickly. Okay, So that's the issue with earth leakage. All this extra earth leakage happening on the system, whether it's AC, DC, whatever, that's, that's where you're at with your milliamp rating. So how can we adjust our installations to accommodate for that? Well, a lot of you guys have already known, uh, will already know that we've switched uh, RCBO protection as a pretty much a standard. Although the regs are still a little bit hazy because at one point they say you're supposed to use RCBOs as a standard. There's also a point in the other part of the regs where they can say, yep, yeah, but this is how you fit a split load board. Now, I'm not going to go into the, the pros and cons of each at the moment, but what I will say just as a standard is on an RCBO device, you obviously get 30 milliamps worth of earth leakage protection per circuit, whereas on an RCD split load board, you're getting 30 milliamps of protection over a bank of circuits, okay? Whether that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, however many circuits you attach to RCD. So if you're going to do that, and a lot of installations that you go to might have an A, type A RCD in there already and therefore are compliant, but you're still suffering with nuisance tripping, it's more than likely a c cumulative, I can't say that word, but a bundle up of earth leakage happening on the circuits from multitude of appliances or things interacting with the circuit, for example, like a laptop or something else like that that's occasionally plugged in and then it trips. There's nothing wrong with that laptop. There's nothing wrong with that washing machine. They're acting as exactly as they're supposed to. It's just you've got an overload structure of earth leakage on those circuits. Okay, so that's why earth... Little song for you there as well. But that is why earth leakage is on the rise and it will probably continue to rise because appliances are going to have to continually get more energy efficient. Okay, and they're going to get continually more sophisticated. And there are going to be structures where you're going to want those appliances to dump current to earth. Okay, so that is why it's on the rise. It will continue to rise. And that's what we need to be looking at when we start getting these nuisance trips and everything else seems to make sense, but the thing's still tripping out. Chances are there's nothing wrong with the device there. It's just overloaded. Okay, so guys, if that is piqued your interest or and you'd like to know more, I've done a full white paper, cha-ching, on earth leakage, which goes into far more details, examples, also handy if you need to explain why you need to change a board or whatever to your to your landlord or whatever, you can download that. It's absolutely free. Go onto the website. Uh, I'll put the link in the, in, again in the show notes below. Uh, go onto the website under our download section. You'll see that and a load of other white papers there that we do for absolutely free. All you got to do is put, put your details in and really it gets emailed straight to you. So like always, guys, if you find any of this useful, um, enjoy the content at all, please just do me a massive favor. Just like and subscribe and share with anyone you think might find it useful. Now guys, another caveat on the last video, right, I mentioned that once we get to 2,000 subscribers on this channel and 7,000 followers on Instagram, we'd be giving away 50 consume units, 50 12-way boards with Sir to give you 10 usable ways with our Type 2 SPD structure in it. Now guys, we are this close, okay? And I mean this close. We're talking less than I think 100 um, on, uh, on Instagram maybe and it's, it's certainly it's about 150 120 whatever it is on, on um, YouTube guys we want to give you these boards so if you already like and you've already subscribed to both great thank you tag someone else in this video whatever it might be get us there and we'll happily give out 50 consuming units that's one a week for a year almost okay but we're obviously not going to give you one a week we're going to give them all away at once so guys please like follow subscribe share and let's let's get these 50 navitas consumers in your hands as winners and until next time guys if you've got any questions get hold of me on instagram it's always the easiest either through the navitas page or through my own william.winter1 or at navitas cp give us a like on tiktok and all the other ones and if you've got any questions or anything else we can help with just give us a call and until next time guys the joy's in the journey so take care